Tonight, the entire community is mourning the loss of a former LSU basketball player. 54-year-old Wayne Sims collapsed and died this morning. Sims played for LSU in the late 80s and was the father of slain LSU basketball standout Wade Sims. Katie East are here now with how he is being remembered. All day, former teammates, coaches, and fans have posted about Wayne Sims. Everyone calling him a great teammate and an even better person. Wayne Sims, 6'7", junior from DeRitter, Louisiana. He averages 10 a game. He just was a quality young man. Really, really solid, responsible, dependable. Wayne Sims played for LSU from 1987 to 1991. He is only one of nine LSU players to appear in an NCAA event four times. The man nicknamed Big Daddy enjoyed his finest moment against Georgetown in 1989. Sims scored 24 points in the Tigers' upset of the Hoyas on national television. He played next to other successful players like Shaquille O'Neal. You know, it always takes guys like that who are team-minded guys to be able to win. Wayne and his teammates became SEC champions in 1991, but that wasn't his most proud moment. In 2015, his son Wade Sims chose to follow in his dad's footsteps and played for LSU in his father's number, 44. In 2017, he posted on Facebook about how proud he was seeing his son on a billboard. It's always just a great feeling when your son's following in your footsteps, so to speak. In 2018, Wade was gunned down after a concert. His killer was sentenced to life in prison, then died of an overdose behind bars. Wayne had this to say. No verdict would have ever bring, would, would bring Wade back. Now former coaches and teammates are remembering Wayne. Former coach Dale Brown saying in a statement he brought the best out in players and everyone liked him. His former teammate Ricky Blanton calling him a great teammate but an even better person. He never said anything harsh about any other individual. He, um, and nobody ever said anything harsh about Wayne. They just thought he was a good fellow. The exact cause of death has not been determined, but sources say it appears to be from natural causes. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced. Katie Easter, WBRZ News 2.